Hello guys. And so, um, the name of this whole thing is called Walking Walking in Truth. Okay? And the whole idea is that I just want you to vision like there is this path, okay? Like there's like obscure like dark things on the side, but there's this really clear path, okay? And the this path it leads to where God is. God is on that side. You can think of it as like heaven almost. Like heaven is on the other side um, where there's no more pain, no more suffering, no more tears, no more death, nothing. And we're all walking on this path, okay? Um, and sometimes there are times where uh, there are things on the side of this path that want to pull us and grab us and make sure that we no longer walk on that path. Um, and I just want you to think of for a moment. What are the things in your life where it, they just want to pull you away from that path that walks to where God is in heaven? So think for a moment. Okay, so did you come up with some stuff? So I don't know. Some things that are in my head is maybe, um, you know, bad influences of friends or uh, who pull us away from doing good things or from loving God. Or maybe it's sometimes like just wanting to be, I don't know, um, like money or success, right? Where you want to get rich. So that's like you want to get rich as fast as possible. So um, you may cheat or lie or, um, you know, just do... Um, you know things that aren't right in God's eyes so those are some things that in our lives that can pull us away okay but the thing is because we are God's children and be like we are God's sons and daughters and God wants us to continue walking on that path he gives us weapons so that we can fight Okay, we can fight against all of these like side things, all of these things that are bad. Um, and do you know, so think of you, so yeah, so think for a second, you guys are fighters, okay? Fighters. Um, and one of these weapons that God gives us to fight is this. It might sound silly in your eyes, but one of it is this, okay? What is this? It's a Bible. The Bible is like a sword. It helps us fight against all of that okay and I want to give you an example I'm gonna read through something in the Bible so remember we talked about who Jesus was right Jesus we said that was born into this world right but he is God he is not human he is God he has no sin which means he can make no mistake he is just like God he is perfect okay but he was in this world so what what can you do do you remember right so he can come into this world and then ultimately die on that cross so that our sins our bad things gets washed away it gets washed away and so that we are completely clean and then we can be with god again so that was his purpose right yeah so um while well, while jesus was on this earth um so i will read something where uh, while he was on this earth he also went through some times where he had to fight against those bad things okay so I'm going to read um, Matthews Matthews um, Math the book of Matthew chapter 4 okay so if you have your Bible I want you to flip to it pause this video first flip to it and I want to want you to read it with me okay so pause this video and when you're ready we're gonna begin all right Matthew chapter 4 verse 1 to 11 okay pause this video Go get your Bibles. Okay, ready? All right, so Matthew chapter 4, verse 1 to 11. Okay. So then Jesus was led up by the Spirit into the wilderness to be tempted by the devil. And after fasting 40 days and 40 nights, he was hungry. And a tempter came and said to him, If you are the Son of God, Command these stones to become loaves of bread. But he answered, Jesus answered, It is written, so from the Bible, It is written, Man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that comes from the mouth of God. Okay, so this is one of it. So what was Jesus doing? Yep, he was fasting. And what that means is he was um, not eating anything for 40 days, but he did it as a way of, you know, just 
talking with God, um, praying with God throughout um, these 40 days. And so what did Satan do? Satan, Satan said, oh, you can make these stones become loaves of bread. So he was tempting. He was like, here, here's some food. Here's some food. You don't have to do this. You don't have to pray and like talk with God. Right. So what are so I want you to think for a moment. What are the things in your life that, you know, that you uh, rely more on? That What are the things where you um, survive on rather than just surviving on God? Right. So for maybe it might be relationships. Uh, we survive on just attention from people or we survive on money, just success and fame. Right. But what does Jesus says? He uses the Bible as our sword to fight against the spiritual battles, which is um, the Satan. He fights against Satan with the word of God. And it says, man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that comes from the mouth of God. So man or we live on the word of God or we live on God, right? He is the one who provides us everything, okay? So that's the first temptation. Now the second temptation, we'll go on, verse five. Then the devil took him to the holy city and set him on the pinnacle of the temple and said to him, if you are the son of God, throw yourselves down for it is written, he will command his angels concerning you and on their hands they will bear you up lest you strike your foot against the stone. But then Jesus said to him, again it is written, you shall not put the Lord your God to the test. Okay, so what does Satan do now? So temptation number two, what he did was he said, hey, you're the son of God, you are God. You can just like, um, what did he say? Um, you can just command the angels to save you. Like, do that. And what did Satan do? Satan used the scripture, Satan used the Bible to like tempt him. Like, But what Satan did wrong was that he used the Bible incorrectly. But Jesus corrected him with, again, this sword. He used the Bible correctly to correct. He used the Bible verse to correct Satan, but he knew what he was saying. Um, and what did he say? He said, you shall not put the Lord, your God, to the test. And which means that, you know, God is in control of everything. Um, so, I mean, that's so important, right? So we not we really want to know our word of God. We really want to know this, this Bible so that we can use it correctly and know exactly how we can fight against um, the, the things on the side, the bad things on the side that keeps us away from the path onto God, okay? So that's number two. Okay, so number three, the third thing is, we will continue with verse eight. It says, again, the devil took him to a very high mountain and showed him all the kingdoms of the world and their glory. And he said to him, all these I will give you if you fall down and worship me. Then Jesus said to him, be gone, Satan, for it is written, you shall worship the Lord your God and in him only shall you serve. Okay, so what does Satan do? He says, worship me. The worship is like when we um, kind of like, how do you say it? It's like we love that. We, we, we want to obey that. We belong to it, right? So like, for instance, um, you know, maybe with money, we worship money. So we love money so much that that controls what we do, okay? But it says, Jesus says, no, you can only worship the Lord your God and him and, and, and him only shall you serve. So it's only God we love. So if that if we worship God, then like we love him so much. And because of that, we, you know, just sing to him, give thanks to him. And like we love him so much because so so that way we want to do everything for him. Um, and that controls how we act. Um, so those are the three things. But again, realize that in these three different things, every time those, remember, if we are thinking of ourselves walking on that path, right, towards God, right, and there are times where things around us, and for Jesus, things around them, like, pull, try to pull him, pull him away, right, but Jesus still remained on that path, and how he did that was by using the word of God, so this is God's words, which means he talks to us through this, 
remember we talked about sometimes he'll talk to us talk to us through the bible or sometimes he'll talk to us in person if we listen really really carefully a lot of times he talks to us through this and this is our remember our sword this is our sword that we can fight where we can fight against all of those like things on the side okay so that same way that jesus did that um, i want you to do that as well and so what is the first step that we can do to make sure that we are good fighters So it is, what? It is to read the word, read the Bible. Okay, I want to end with this last thing. I know this is a little bit long, um, but I want us to end with this last idea, okay? Um, we're gonna, it's a scripture, and it says, um, it's from Proverbs chapter 30, verse five. So if you want to um, read that with me, you can pause this video, flip to it, and then once you're ready, um, unpause it. Okay, so Proverbs chapter 30, verse 5. And it says, Every word of God is true. He is a shield to those who take refuge in him. Okay, so I will read that again if you want to read it with me, okay? Every word of God is true. He is a shield to those who take refuge in him. And what refuge means is that he is a shield to those who go to him. Refuge is like a safe place where there's no danger, no harm, nothing. So he's so yeah, that's that's who God is. And um, yeah, so I think I want at the end of this, I want you to take away is uh, today or this week, I want you to try to read the Bible, okay? Even if it's just five verses, I want you to read the Bible. And you can read maybe Matthews, which talks about Jesus. Um, you can start from there. Or you can read this book called Psalms, which is like David's prayers to God. It's called Psalms, so it's P-S-A-L-M, um, Psalm. Um, but you can read that. And um, I want you to remember, so the word of God is a sword that helps us fight. Where we, we can learn about God through his word, but we can also fight, okay? So I want you to, I want us all to be really good fighters, okay? All right, so I love this. Um, I love talking to you guys, and I will see you guys next time, okay? Next time, I'm gonna make this a little bit shorter, but this is just an introduction video, and we'll have this maybe every week. We will see, but I love you guys so much. Bye.